Hi everyone and welcome. It's so warm today and I'm drinking a lot of water. So guys, today we are going to play with strange sponges. Strange for me. I found these on Bangerhead, I think, a website called Bangerhead. Uh, and I bought them. They were out of stock when I first saw them on the website, but when they uh, were back in the stock, I bought all the three because they came out with three. And this is from Echo Tools. It's vegan, cruelty free. It's new sponges for makeup, and they are called. And this one is called Total Perfecting Blender, and it's for. Let me see. The Total Perfecting Blender is a soft flex sponge for blend primer and foundation for flawless looking skin. Uh, this one. The second one. Now this one is called the Perfecting Detail Blender. It's a firm, dense sponge for per precision applicator of spot and under eye concealers. And this is also included in vented storage cup. They come with the cup. And also uh, this one is called the Contour Perfecting Applicator. It's designed to sculpt the cheekbones, highlighter and perfect with a simple sweep. Sweep. So uh, these are the new uh, three new sponges from Echo Tools, and today we are going to play with three new Echo Tools face sponges. This one is for your face, this one is for highlighter, and this one is for under eyes. So we are going to play with all three of them, and all of three come with uh, included storage cup, so that's good. And I saw these on website, they are, they, it's supposed to be 50% better application. So I'm very excited to see that. And for applying products, today I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. And I'm actually going to mix two shades, number 8 and number 4, because I have a little bit of 10. And, and we are going to play with these sponges today. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So you can use these wet or dry. Actually, I'm going to use them wet because I prefer using my, how do you open this? Using my um, brushes wet, not brushes, sponges wet. So you open it here and then you do what? You push, pull, what do you do? Oh, okay. When I first saw this on the website, I thought that this part was attached to the sponge, but it's actually not. So this is how I'm supposed to put this one on. Feels firm. Yeah, this is the uh, LA Girl sponge. It's firmer than that one. Oh, this one is attached. Oh. This one is attached to this part. These two are not, but this one is. So that is why I thought that these will be attached to, but they are not. So I'm going to wet all three of them because I just want to do that. I want to see how they working are going to work wet. Uh, this one is very dense. I don't think it's going to work dry. So I'm going to wet them, wet them and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Now I did wet the sponges, so this one expands a lot and it's a little bit softer, but it's still very firm. And this one also expanded a lot. But the, the smallest one didn't really expand, just a little bit, but I'm worried that the water will get in here, all products, and it's going to be hard to clean. I don't like everything to get in here. I don't know, I just, feel that I'm not going to use this one a lot. But we'll see, we we'll see how they are going to perform. I heard that many people, or oh, I saw that many people like to cut their Beauty Blender in half, just because they prefer to apply the foundation with flat sides. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one is going to work. Now there is this kind of flat too, maybe good for baking. Oh, oh, it feels nice. Uh, but I'm going to apply my concealer and my foundation with this one. Not concealer, but my primer and foundation with this one. 
So I already moisturized my skin, so I'm going to use my concealer. And for the concealer, not concealer, what I'm keep, why do I keep saying concealer? Primer, I'm going to use Galance, this one, the gold one. I love this one, and I missed it. I didn't take it with me when I traveled, so excited. I'm going to actually use the this side for the primer. So guys, before I continue, I want to say that I uh, my skin look, feels a little bit better because I started using... Let me show you. Hello Beauty. I bought three packages. I started using it for a couple of days ago and I already feel like my skin feels much better and smoother. So I'm very excited to see the results in a couple of months. So... Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm doing everything to keep my 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 skin is so dry. I'm already peeling off like snake. So two pumps. I usually don't use sponges to apply my primers, but today we are going to do that just because this sponge says says so. It feels like it absorbed a lot of water. It feels very wet, but this primer also feels very moisturizing. And I like it a lot. So I don't think I'm going to use um, my sponge for applying primer in the future, just because I prefer having more control with my fingers. Right now I don't feel like I uh, put the primer very even. I don't know where the primer is or not. So I'm actually going to use one pump on my fingers and just small pump and just use it so I feel like I know where the primer is and is not. When I use the sponge I don't feel like I have control of it because I can't see where the primer is. In foundation you can see where you apply too much or too not enough so that is what it is with that. So I like they have the cup so you can put the, this in so you don't put it right on the table or beauty space if it's dirty or I don't know yeah I just like that detail so I'm going to mix number four two pumps no number eight and two pumps of number four. and I'm going to try to use this flat side Ooh. It feels like this sponge really made the foundation uh, applied foundation very evenly all over my all of my face or on this side. So I did use this flat side on this side of my face a little bit on the neck. So I'm going to use this side for this part of the skin just to see if there is any difference. It is a little bit firmer than the usual beauty blender. This one applied it also very nice, but I feel like around my nose, the flat side is much easier. So I'm going to use the flat side, but the finish is the same on the skin. I feel like it's a little bit hard to hold because it's, it feels like a little bit slippery. I don't know if it is only my fingers, but it feels a little bit slippery and a little bit too big for holding it in my hand. I like this part, so I have more control under my around my eyebrows because I already fixed my eyebrows and I don't want to mess them up. This sponge, I don't feel like it sucks in a lot of foundation, but it applied my foundation very nice, very even. I like it. And this foundation is very nice also, so it's a plus. I did take this foundation because you guys already, most of you know how this one works. And because I have it in deeper shades. <laughs> I need deeper shades. All of my foundations that are with, all the most of my foundations right now are a little bit too light. My favorite foundation, Estee Lauder, is too light. My cushion foundation for Lava Art is too light. So I'm glad that I have deeper <laughs> shades. So guys, 
Right now, I really, really love this finish. It looks very smooth, very even, flawless. So we are going over. Oh, I like that I can place this just in here. So I'm going to use the concealer. And for the concealer, I'm going to use uh, this Revolution number no. 7. And I don't usually, for every day, use this much concealer, but I am going to use it just to see how the sponge is going to blend it. I don't know what to say, guys. I did use it wet and I feel like it kind of made this concealer, this concealer is full coverage, but it feels like it took away a little bit of the cover co coverage from this uh, concealer. It made it a little bit more sheer, if, if you know what I mean. I feel like on this side, the sponge, because it was used maybe first time, took away a little bit of the coverage of the concealer, so I'm going to apply a little bit more. There you go. This is better. It feels like it blended my concealer beautifully on my forehead and on my nose and on my chin. But on the eyes, I don't know. I'm going to bake, actually. And I'm going to use uh, this side because I want to use this, uh, this uh, sponge for cream contour. I want to see how it's going to work for cream contour. So I'm going to set everything and I'm going to waste my powder. I'm going to use my Laura, Laura Mercier, Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to use the clean side. And I have to say, guys, I did order the Huda Beauty setting powder from Feel Unique, and I still haven't received the products from uh, Sol Genere from Feel Unique. But I, last time when I ordered those products, I didn't took uh, the tracking shipping so this time when I ordered Huda Beauty powders I took tracking shipping so I'll see how that is going to work I'm going to set rest on my face not rest on my face but this is where I have my concealer so it doesn't crease okay guys so I am going to going to use the cream contour. I'm going to use my favorite, favorite cream bronzer and it's from Cover FX. This is in Sunkist. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. There is no better, no better cream bronzer. And blend. This is blending very nice. Ooh, I love this for contouring the nose. And the great thing with the Cover FX drops is that you can use it over the powder. It doesn't make it cakey or it doesn't make it look heavy or anything. I love that. So for the highlight, I think I'm going to use uh, this one, Moonlight or Blossom. I think I'm going to use Moonlight and I'm going to put it on my hand and take it on the sponge a little bit and let's see. I don't really like it. I don't like this sponge. I feel like I need to push um, it's very hard on my skin so I can blend the highlighter. Let's see if I can apply it with finger and then blend it. No, well, it's the same thing. I don't like this for highlighting. But I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. 
So guys, I'm done. Now, I'm in a hurry. I have to say, I really like this brush, uh, brush, sponge. I really like it for applying my foundation. I don't like it for applying it, for applying the primer, just because I love like to have more control of, uh, over my primer, but I really, really like it. And I like it for setting my under eyes or setting my... I like this sponge, not as much as I like this one. It's not bad. I'm going to continue playing with it. I do like it, how it blended my contour and bronzer but i'm skeptical about the concealer i need to try it with another concealer i don't like this for the highlight i don't like it wet i'm going to try to use it dry and use it with other highlighters right now with my uh, cover effects drops doesn't really work but i'm going to continue playing with it just to see if i did something wrong or what did i did so guys that was everything thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye